Paginate, three syllables that describe the act of dividing stuff over multiple pages. We'll cover enabling basic pagination, we'll cover the updated anatomy of the collection list wrapper, and we'll talk about how we can directly link to a specific page via the pagination URL. Let's start with adding. We can do this in any collection list, and it's as simple as one, two, three. Four, but four is optional. With any collection list selected, we can go over to our element settings and simply check paginate items. That's it. Those were the first three. Select a collection list, press the gear thing, and check the little box. And four, you can set a custom number of items in each page. But anatomy is where things start to get really interesting. You may remember a while ago when we checked that box, and you may remember us showing that same exact clip again, only Stacy zoomed in and added rotation for effect. When we check that box, something happens to our element structure. The collection list wrapper, we can see this over in the navigator, that wrapper now has pagination inside. Two buttons, previous and next. And we can style these as much as we want to match our brand. We go into this in more detail on our guide on Webflow University, so feel free to check that out. But that's what happens to the wrapper's anatomy when we add pagination. And finally, let's cover URLs. Collection pages already have unique URLs. It says so in the script for this very video, as well as in the related guide on Webflow University. Monica says it's true. It is. And Chloe says it's true. It is. And Vlad's really sure. What's pagination? So how do these things change when we paginate? Like this. When you're on a collection page and you come upon the pagination page, that part of the collection list you're looking to copy, you can just look up to the URL field and copy. That's it. The unique URL contains what scientists call magic to make sure visiting that link loads up the correct pagination page in the collection list. What if it's not a collection page? What if it's just a static page that has a collection list inside? Same deal, unique URL. Copy it over. Visiting that URL will load up the correct part of the pagination. But that's it. If you enable pagination on a collection list, its anatomy is going to change a bit. And if you go to that specific pagination page, you can copy over the URL, and anyone who clicks will see it too. And that is basic pagination in the Webflow Designer.